So I got a request the other day to show you how to set up the EM10 Mark II uh, for vlogging in full HD 24p at 1 50th of a second. And uh, that's your typical cinematic settings, right? The 24p along with the uh, shutter speed at 1 50th of a second, which is called the 180 rule. And the idea being to give you that sort of natural motion blur that you typically see in film. And I also took the uh, EM10 out yesterday and did some vlogging with my nephew at those settings. Uh, and I tried some vintage art filters and then I tried natural filters. So I'll give you a sample of that because when you're vlogging with the EM10 Mark II, most likely you're going to be using the camera's internal mic. So I wanted to give you a sense of how that sounded as well. So I just have the M10 Mark II set up here with the kit lens. Uh, just ignore all the rest of this gear because I'm going to be hand holding for the vlogging. And uh, I have a little my black magic monitor here to record the back of the screen for you. Sometimes people even ask me what I've been using and it's just a black magic design. I, I don't know what it's called exactly, but it, it lets me record the back of the screen. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is just a full factory reset on the camera, like so so that we can all be on the same page. And then uh, I'm gonna rotate the mode dial here and put the camera into movie mode. Because you have to be in movie mode to use these settings. And you'll notice the little uh, movie icon in the bottom left of the uh, monitor. And I think from there we can just work from the live control panel. So I'll hit the OK button. And I'm gonna scroll down here to the uh, different modes we can use. Now the default setting is program mode. So I'm gonna change this to shutter priority. We can do this in manual mode as well, but I'll save that for another video. So now that we've done that, the next thing we need to do is actually go into the uh, movie settings. And you can see we're in uh, 1920 by 1080 fine, which is the default setting, but the uh, frame rate or frames per second is set to 60p so I'll click the info button and now we can change the frame rate and I'm going to dial this down until I see 24 and click OK and now all I have to do is set the shutter speed so we've set the frame rate to 24p and to sh uh, set the shutter speed I just rotate the rear dial down until I get to 1 50th of a second and we're good and what you know just a quick check here though you want to look at your histogram and see if you got sort of a normal exposure uh, because sometimes if it's too bright out the camera is not going to be able to handle that and the image is going to too uh, be too bright at these settings but i think even in relatively good light bright light you'll be okay but just uh just be aware of that sometimes if you're in really strong sun uh, you may have to bump the shutter speed a little higher. Uh, and if that doesn't work, your next best bet is to uh, increase the frame rate, say, to 1 60th of a second, or 60p, and then change your shutter speed to 1 20th. So we'll, we'll do that as well. All right. And that's really it. I'm going to leave it an auto ISO, natural color profile, uh, and... We don't need to change anything else. So let's walk around and just uh, do a quick vlog. Now, I have the uh, face detect on, continue autofocus, which is the default setting for the camera. And I'm just gonna walk around my yard here for a minute. Now there's a lot of ambient noise in my backyard. So uh, I'll show you a couple of scenes where it's a little quieter when I went out to the boat uh, with my nephew. But, um, you know, I think the M10 Mark II with the internal mic still does a pretty good job. Now, now let's say it was too bright out. Let me show you how to set up the camera to be in 30p, 1 20th of a second shutter speed. And the procedure is identical. So all I have to do is click the OK button, go back into the live control, and we're, we left off with the movie settings. So we'll click the info button, and we'll crank this up to 60p. And then all we have to do is rotate the rear dial and increase the shutter speed to 1 125th of a second. So now we're at 
approximately double the shutter speed 180 rule. Let's just do another quick test and see how that looks. Also another default setting is to be in continuous autofocus with face detect. And the M10 Mark II, if I'm not wearing sunglasses, it actually does a pretty good job at focusing on my face. At least I hope it is. <laughs> you know, uh, the challenge I run into sometimes is when I hold the camera out this way and I'm not looking at the camera, sometimes it loses focus. Now the next logical step as you start vlogging with your EM10 is to get some sort of maybe small tripod like this one. This is a little Manfrotto Pixie or Pixco. Uh, but I can just screw this into the bottom like so, and then uh, angle it, tilt it, whatever, so I can hold it out like this. And I've just taped on some, uh, or just wrapped on some uh, tennis grip tape that I got for $3, because this is uh, very slippery. <laughs> um, but I think better than this, in my opinion, is really the other tripod that I recommended uh, last year the Mi Photo Air tripod. So let me show you what that looks like. All right, so I'm holding the uh, camera out with it extended and let me hit the uh, record button. And this is how it looks with just a little bit of extension. And uh, you know, naturally it's gonna feel a little more stabilized as well when I'm walking around. But I think uh, the only downside to something doing it this way is the audio levels might be a little bit lower but it still should be good enough for normal vlogging, despite all of the noise that I have around my house. The dog barking, with my neighbor's generators and lawnmowers, uh, and the highway and the airport and the freaking helicopters. All right, so I have the selfie stick here. Basically, any selfie stick can do this, but the tripod legs that come with this really help you to, I think, expand your vlogging experience, right? So let me show you what I mean. This is not a big deal to take with you because this will fit right in your pocket. And it's actually what I'm using right now to uh, hold up the EM10 Mark, uh, EM1 Mark II. So all I do is I twist the legs in like so. And it's just a single action twist. I don't know if you ever use a paint stick where it twists and tightens. It's kind of the same idea. So now that I have it all compacted down, I can just put one leg in my pocket like so. But as you can see, this, this fits right in my pocket, no problem. And it, it weighs nothing. It's not even one pound, I think. And I can do like this. And then the other thing I can do is when I want to set up something at eye level, this extends out this way. I just untwist and come out. I can extend this, make sure everything's tight. All right, so I hit the record button. And as you can see, when you're out vlogging, like I do a lot, this is how I set up the camera a lot of times, it's just on this exact tripod that I use all the time and I have two of them like I said I have the M10 Mark II right here set up and I also have it set up here on my EM1 Mark II as you can see. All right so I think the next logical choice in your vlogging experience after you get the tripod is some sort of external recording device. Uh, now I used to use the Zoom H1N but I found that actually still a little bit bulky uh, and awkward to use because I put it in my pocket, but to start and stop the recording, I had to take it out and push the button. Uh, with this, this, this is the, uh, this little pen recorder. This is actually an Olympus uh, VF10. This is what I've been using a lot lately whenever I've been recording externally because you can just flip it on and off here with this little uh, uh, button right here. So what I normally do is I'll just tuck it into my shirt like this when I'm out vlogging. 
And if you look at any of my previous videos and you see a little clip that looks like this uh, in the video, the audio was recorded using the VF10 and the auto quality is very good. So we'll just walk around for 10 seconds or so and I'll show you what this sounds like versus the uh, internal mics. All right, so this is the camera's internal mics and it's actually quieted down a little bit here around my house. So it should sound pretty good, but let me go ahead and turn on the stick microphone here, the pen microphone, like so. And you should be able to tell a big difference in the audio quality. And like I said, whenever you see a vlog that I do uh, and you see this little uh, pin sticking here, yeah, I'm using this microphone for the audio. And what I like about it, it doesn't have a lot of rustle noise when I'm walking around. There's virtually none. Now there was a video I did, uh, if you watch the one, it's called The Most Important Thing in Photography. Now in that video, uh, I had the pen in my pocket here. And that shirt I was wearing was kind of starched. So there was some rustling noise, but it wasn't too bad. Uh, but as you can tell, when I have it here in my shirt, it's not bad at all. Uh, I, I rarely have to worry about any kind of rustling noise. Now the Zoom H1n, when I had it in my pocket, that thing was just terrible. It had a lot of rustling noise, so I could never use it. And it's one of those things that I bought and never used. But this pen I use all the time when I'm vlogging. All right, so we talked about the tripod, now we talked about the external recording. Uh, let's talk about one other thing you may want to consider to improve the experience of your vlogging, and that's a wide angle lens. And uh, this is one I've talked about before. This is the cheapest eight millimeter fisheye lens you can get, but it's really good for vlogging. So let me just put this lens on and show you how it looks. All right, so uh, I put the focus ring on five here and you can watch the video I did on this lens, but if I open the aperture up to f3.8 and put the focus ring on five, pretty much everything's in focus. So let's just walk around and show you how this looks. And actually, I don't even need a selfie stick if I have this lens. I can simply hand hold it because the field of view is so wide. All right, so now I'm back in 24p at 1 50th of a second shutter speed. And uh, I'm using the eight millimeter fisheye lens at f3.8 and I put the focus ring at f5. And as you can see, even though I'm hand holding, it's still pretty stable, relatively speaking, uh, because of the wide angle of view. <laughs> One more thing you can get if you're thinking about vlogging with the M10 Mark II is an external monitor so that you can actually frame yourself. And uh, I did a review on the Field World F5, so let me show you how that looks on here. All right, so this is the Field World F5 monitor that I've talked about before in other videos, and I've just mounted it on the top. It comes with this bracket and everything. And this is around $150 uh, on Amazon. But this really help you frame your images better if you're out vlogging, especially if you're set up on a tripod or you're, you're just walking around. This really makes a big difference uh, for vlogging. Uh, there's a lot of uses in photography as well, like for macro photography and things. But uh, let's just uh, walk around. All right. So I can just uh, hit this. And like I said, this monitor really doesn't add a lot of weight to the setup. It, it uh, still feels really good. Really, after you start vlogging with an external monitor, it's hard to kind of go back without one. And yeah, it draws a little more attention, but that's not really a big deal once you get out there and get used to it. But uh, and then last but not least is maybe an external light. Now this is a little uh, Litra cube or something. I don't know what it's called exactly. I, you know, I'll have links down below as, as always to this stuff. But uh, what's nice about this bracket that comes with this monitor is it has a little uh, hot shoe right here. And I can hook up a little light just like so. Now you'll need to uh, make sure the white balance is right if you're really critical about color because this is a little bit off. Uh, but uh, let's walk around with this light on and show you how this looks. So hi everyone. So tonight I'm out in my backyard and uh, you know I had gotten a request to do some moon shots uh, with you know the Olympus. There is one other thing that I'm going to show you 
uh, in another video, and that's how to get audio into the camera, even though the M10 doesn't have a mic jack. And it's very similar to the idea that I did, uh, God, last year as well. But I was having some syncing problems. There was a little bit of an echo, but I've, I've pretty much gotten rid of that and uh, improved on that because I have a new microphone system that I'm going to share with you in another review. All right, so this is just a quick demonstration of something I'm working on in terms of uh, doing audio externally from the M10 Mark II because the M10 Mark II does not have a mic jack. And as you can see, as I walk out, the audio hasn't changed, the audio level. It may sound a little different because I'm further away, but it's not bad, right? And I can walk out of frame, 